por culpa del In Peru's capital, Lima, healthcare workers are on strike. The 48-hour walkout was organized by more than 9,000 doctors and other medical professionals employed by the government. Any sacrifice the doctor makes on the streets will translate into better quality of care. We are not asking for a pay rise. What we are asking for is already demanded for by law and what our duty is and our job. Protests over poor working conditions and the shortage of medical supplies began on Tuesday as Peru's president, Martin Vizcarra, visited the National University in San Marcos, where the first clinical trials for a potential COVID-19 vaccine are being held. We are ending phase three and it's good. Peru was one of the few countries chosen by Sinopharm to carry out trials of the Chinese vaccine. And starting next week, there's Johnson & Johnson with the United States vaccine and also the AstraZeneca vaccine from the United Kingdom. There is also a German vaccine. Everyone is willing to do the clinical tests here and that is a good thing because it'll mean we know how our own people will react. Coronavirus cases in Peru recently surpassed 800,000, which is one of the highest contagion rates in the world. And although there are signs the contagion has slowed, experts say that self-isolation and social distancing are still necessary. The risk is thinking that this decrease means that everything ended. If people let their guard down, the people that have been cautious let their guard down and start to go out. They begin to expose themselves. We could see what's called a second wave. A lifting of restrictions in the country has also meant cemeteries are now allowing visits from family members who have lost loved ones to the virus. Peru has recorded more than 32,000 deaths from COVID-19, representing the third highest death toll in Latin America. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera.